Hello everyone. Today we will explore the fascinating journey of apples from the lush orchards to becoming the delicious apple products we all love. Apples are not just a popular fruit, but also a symbol of natural flavor and the essence of nature. Let's explore everything from cultivation, harvesting manually and by robots, to the processing, packaging, and transportation of apples to supermarkets. According to the United States Apple Association, around 5 million tons of apples are consumed annually in the U.S., with over 250 million boxes of apples produced and consumed each year. Although apple consumption in the U.S. has stabilized, international markets such as Europe, Japan, and China are increasingly demanding apple-based products, especially juice and dried apples. If you have any questions about the process of growing and harvesting apples, or want to learn more about any other process, leave a comment below. And if you like this video, don't forget to give us a like so we know. Now let's begin the journey of exploration with us. Apples are commonly grown in temperate climate regions like Germany and the US. In Germany, apple orchards not only provide raw materials, but also play a key role in the ecosystem. From natural orchards to large-scale farms, harvest season starts in September and lasts until November, when factories begin operating at full capacity to process apples into delicious products. In the U.S., especially in Washington State, apples are grown on vast expanses of land. Famous apple varieties like Red Delicious, Granny Smith, and Fuji are cultivated here. The apple growing process in the U.S. combines traditional methods with modern technology to ensure high-quality apples and stable yields. The process of growing apples begins with selecting varieties that are suited to the climate and soil conditions of each area. In large orchards in the U.S. and Germany, farmers often choose apple varieties that are disease-resistant and high-yielding. The apple trees are planted with enough space between them to allow for optimal growth. Once the apple trees are planted, the next step is care to ensure healthy growth. One of the most important aspects of apple care is pruning the branches. This helps the tree grow evenly, provides space for fruit development, and maximizes sunlight exposure. Pruning also reduces the occurrence of pests, ensuring the trees stay in the best condition. A crucial part of apple care is using fertilizers and pesticides. However, modern farms, especially in the U.S., have switched to more sustainable practices, such as using organic fertilizers and biological pesticides. This not only helps apples grow well, but also minimizes the environmental impact. Particularly during the blooming season, farmers often hire bee colonies to pollinate the apple trees. Pollination is crucial as it helps the apples grow evenly and ensures the fruit's quality. When apples reach harvest season, farms begin the harvesting process. In smaller orchards, people still harvest manually, shaking the trees to make apples fall and gathering them by hand. This job requires skill and is filled with joy and memories. For large farms, harvesting has been mechanized. Specialized equipment such as tree shaking machines and automated conveyors make the process quicker and more efficient. A notable advancement in the apple industry today is the introduction of harvesting robots. These robots can identify ripe apples and gently pick them without damaging the fruit. Not only do these robots reduce labor, but they also significantly increase productivity. When apples arrive at the factory, they are carefully processed to ensure product quality. First, apples are washed with water and safe cleaning agents to remove dirt and chemicals. Then, 
They are sorted to select the best apples and remove any damaged ones. The apple pressing process begins by grinding the apples into a mash. Juice is extracted under high pressure, and the leftover pulp is reused to produce pectin. Pectin is an essential gelling agent in the food industry. The juice is then adjusted for acidity and sugar content to ensure perfect flavor, and it is pasteurized to extend its shelf life. Besides juice, other apple products, such as dried apples, apple puree for seasoning, and canned apples are also produced in package. These products are then checked for quality once more before being shipped out. After the products are completed, they are carefully packaged in protective packaging, such as cardboard boxes or pet packaging. The packaged apple products are then transported to distribution centers and further shipped to supermarkets and food stores. Throughout the shipping process, the Apple products are tracked using GPS systems to ensure timely delivery and freshness. Once they reach consumers, apples and apple-based products become an essential part of daily meals. It's an intricate journey from the time apples are planted in orchards to when they become products we use every day. We hope this video has helped you better understand the apple production process, as well as the value the apple industry brings to our lives. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you won't miss any future videos on our channel. See you next time on our next exploration journey.